uh, block 202, 203, that, or 102, 103 that we set up with a, an experiment through UC Berkeley and another block over at Linton West. It's uh, agroecology experiment. Oh, I where think we I took pictures of it. Yeah, where we have we put a lissum underneath the vines to try to get, it's all about trying to make, um, have some flowering plants late in the season for beneficial insects to feed on because the adult, almost all adult beneficial insects eat pollen. Uh, but their offspring, the larvae and stuff, are what eat, they're the good bugs that eat the bad bugs. And so one way to kind of try to do that, in California it's very difficult because we have these long, dry summer, springs and summers. And so most everything dies out naturally. All the Mediterranean plants pretty much die out. So what we've done with Miguel Altieri at UC Berkeley is look at planting alyssum underneath the emitters so that if we do a late irrigation, the alyssum is a pretty tough um, kind of flower. I almost call it a weed because it will take off. And it's great because you give it a little bit of water and it blooms. And it has pretty good nectar source. Another thing we do is on um, Alternate rows, the rows that we just mow, we shanked in some wild carrot seeds last year. And they, this is the time of year that they bloom. They bloom from now till fall. And, and they're not, they don't get high enough to really interfere with the vines. And, um, and so that's what you're seeing here. So th these are just coming out. And then um, this fall we'll probably collect some of that seed and, and take it out because I really like this and go out to other blocks and do the same thing. So this is drawing in beneficial. Yeah, it, it gives them, yes, it, it it either draws them in or it, it keeps them here. Yeah. That's the main thing is keeping okay. them here. And then the alternate rows that we disc in, we put an annual cover crop in plant, fall planted that's a legume based. It's, it's you know, that faba beans, peas, and triticale, which is a cereal. That grows up. In the spring, we disc it in um, into so, and then that slowly breaks down and feeds the yeah feeds the vines enough so that we don't really need to add much any more nitrogen. And then, with this agroecology study, we turn right around and we plant um, annual buckwheat, which has really great flowering heads and is really good for beneficial insects. The problem with annual buckwheat is it needs rain. So this year it established pretty well and it was blooming all the way into the end of June. Last year, 2008, we didn't have any spring rain and it didn't do well at all. So um, that's, a, that's a, dif a difficult part of this project is, for me, is, that, is trying to find something like this that works out in, in the way that we're farming, because we don't add a lot of water. I don't want to put sprinklers in here for the annual yeah. buckwheat. Just put, that's, the, just put the star thistle in it. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no, we don't want that. We don't have much star thistle here in Sonoma. <laughs> no, we we have a nugget. Yeah. <laughs>